Okay, so um, adding on to the windows and the siding, um, next up is the window trim. Number of ways to do it. Uh, I chose uh, a bit of overkill with the flashing. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the very top one. There is a, a very, very top piece. Uh, a, there's one above the window, but there's one above the trim there as well. And uh, that's the first piece of flashing that uh, the rain will hit. It goes underneath the tar paper and then the siding comes over top of that. Below that is the 2x4 window trim. Underneath that is another piece of flashing which goes behind that window trim. And then below the window we have a piece of flashing that hooks back over the rain screen. And this is sealed under here. 2x4 for the trim and then another piece of flashing. So these windows are really well protected from the water. Um, there's two pieces of flashing on the top and two on the bottom. It's overkill. A lot of people don't do so much flashing, but that is how I did it. Um, lots of resources online um, and uh, you just have to pick your own method for how you want to do it. Um, I bent uh, some of my flashing was uh, standard and then this one I got a local guy to make um, because I couldn't find it anywhere um, so I got a local guy to bend that custom uh, and that was silver but we just sprayed it the same color as these for the brown now um, the other thing to consider depending on where you are I'm in high rain area so you're supposed to have end dams on your flashing so that is basically you fold up the very end and there's a, there's a specific uh, depth or height of that end dam you're supposed to have. So look into that if you're interested in going uh, along the coding uh, way. So end dams can be important. It's basically folded up and you just use little uh, folding tools to, to get those in place. Uh, there's end dams on every set of flashing. Um, for me, so I added those in. Just wanted to be super safe as you know We get tons of rain here So that is uh, The flashing for the windows and trim